Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for a nice presentation by the organizing committee uh, about my uh, qualification and about, about my experience. My talk today is about the impact of COVID-19 infection and the messenger RNA vaccines on the human fertility. We can see that there is a link between viral infection and the infertility has many, has been studied for decades. Numerous viruses like, including Zika viruses, HIV infection, cytomegalovirus infection has been detected in the human semen, among which some can affect the male fertility potential. Moreover, because of the contribution of the immune privilege of the testes and the resistance of blood test barrier to antiviral drugs, several viruses can resist and persist in the semen of the males for longer time in and than in other body fluids. There is urgent need for scientists and researchers through exploration of the effect of coronavirus disease uh, COVID-19 on the human reproductive system. Meanwhile, the given potential damage to severe of severe acute respiratory distress syndrome to the reproductive system, some individuals suspect that the vaccine which mimics the virus messenger RNA vaccine may also affect the fertility of the human, whether male or female, via the same mechanism. Notably, although more than 4 billion vaccine doses has been currently administered, Pregnant women are always excluded from the initial clinical trials on the messenger RNA vaccination because of the fear from any complications or side effects of the vaccination. However, at 30 August 2022, the US United States Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, has reported that more than 155,000 one, participants who were pregnant at the time of given vaccination withdrew the attention to the safety of messenger RNA vaccines while the, the, the female is pregnant. Previous studies have revealed that the type 1 viral envelope protein and the humans since then one protein involved in the formation of the placenta share the same analogous structural features, especially in the regions of N and C terminal hepatic repeats. Some skeptics or suspicious persons about vaccination and anti-vaccination movement have claimed that the vaccines, messenger of RNA vaccines, translated antibodies against the spike protein, the spike protein of the virus itself, that may cross react with the sense then one leading to adverse pregnancy outcomes, therefore, there is significant and urgent need to review the limited data and theoretical consideration for informing clinical guidelines and our understanding regarding the various effects of COVID-19 vaccines on the human reproductive system. Effects of COVID-19 on male and the female reproductive system, it is well known that the barrier of the protect spermatogenic cells from various pathogens, 
but the inflammatory state caused by the COVID-19 might change the situation. So there is a high level of interleukin-6. This is inflammatory marker that can interrupt this barrier and further facilitates the virus infiltration in the testes tissues. Moreover, the testes is one of the tissues that might have the expression of angiotensin converting enzyme two receptors, messenger RNA and protein. Thus, in early stage of the epidemic of the virus, some people predicted that the testes may be susceptible to COVID-19 infection. Indeed, on several cofactors such as transmembrane serine protease 2, transmembrane serine protease 4, casepsin B and casepsin L, which can cleave the S protein, spike protein of the virus, are also very big volatile for virus entry based on the fact that spermatogenia, spermatogen, uh, spermatogonia are the only cells expressing these receptors in the testes. Some people suggested that the testes is unlikely to be the target for coronavirus infection. In the same time, other individuals argued that high co-expression of these receptors in the testes might increase the testicular susceptibility to infection, hence whether the COVID-19 infect the mere reproductive system remains a controversial issue. In the studies done, epidemiological studies, 210 patients who achieved the clinical recovery from the virus infection, positive rates of the COVID-19 in the semen was only a small value, 1.4% which was lower than 6.9% in 58 patients who were in the acute stage of the infection. So this means that the infection of the disease begins with the infection with corona or coronavirus, but after recovery from the virus, almost the virus disappears from testicular tissue. This is unpredictable because the virus gradually clears up as the patients recover from the viral virus infection. Furthermore, it is important to know that the time for the, to recover from the disease and the recover of the virus from the semen is ranging between two days to 11 days in patients with positive semen, except for one patient who tested positive for 21 days after recovery. In addition, although the coronavirus infection target genes were detected in the semen of this patient and has unprotected oral vaginal and anal sex with a stable partner after recovering from COVID-19, retesting was the, uh, from the laryngeal, vaginal, and rectal swabs were, was it, were negative after retesting. This is indicating that it was viral RNA instead of live virus detected in the patient. In terms of testicular tissue testing, the available experimental data are limited about this issue. Among the tissue samples obtained from 13 decades or dead patients with COVID-19 infection, the virus was detected only in one case that has viral load very high. In addition to the testes, the ACE2 receptors are present in the lungs, in the kidney, in the spleen, 
were also positive in this patient. This diagram show with these uh, sequelae and the start of infection by COVID-19 uh, virus. The virus causes fever, may cause vesiculitis and prostatitis, and make orchitis and imbalance between the testosterone hormone and luteinizing hormone and uh, follicle stimulating hormone. The testosterone hormone is decreased and the luteinizing hormone is increased. Inflammatory markers due to the inflammatory process by the virus infection releases interleukin-6, interleukin-8, very, uh, 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 very active cytokines, tumor necrotic factor alpha. This results in impaired fluid com composition and impaired process of spermatogenesis, sperm mortality, and the vari vari variability of the sperms of the infected person, and maybe in some, some patients, oligo or azospermia. This is the uh, picture of the virus. We can see the, the spike glycoprotein. This is the site of the binding of the virus to the cells of the body. So the virus can enter the body cells, which has ACE receptors like lung, like kidney, like testes, and then invades and uncoding of the virus and the many replications occurring through the cells and resulting in and affecting the cells through replication and translation affecting the mitochondria and Golgi uh, system in the cells and also ribosomal uh, uh, frame of the cells. Moreover, almost very proportion is higher than the virus rate above mentioned. Thus, it is reasonable to speculate that abnormalities are caused by other reasons, for instance, the abnormalities in the semen of the infected patient may be due to cause hyperthermia, fever, hypoxia, that leads to vascular disturbances and organ-related oxidative stress, and thereby triggering the inflammation in the testicular tissue. In addition to the damage of the testes, abnormal hormone levels were found in the patient. High level of luteinizing hormone and low level of testosterone hormone. And more seriously, in men with COVID-19, lower testosterone concentration and the increased ratio between estradiol to testosterone ratio have been proven to be associated with the disease severity, inflammation, and the mortality. However, the overall side effects of COVID-19 on the female, this is for female, reproductive system, Maybe it changes in the menstrual volume or cycle, maybe prolongation of the cycle, and may indicates that changes in the sex hormones caused by ovarian suppression by the virus infection. In addition, 
It is given that the existing bubbles are limited by their small sample size, brief duration of the studies, further studies of follow-up was needed and are needed urgent, urgently to assess the long-term effects of COVID-19. If there is vertical transmission between the pregnant woman and her baby during the virus infection, some say is yes and some researcher says no. And this is due to the immunosuppressive state and physiological adaptive changes that occur in pregnancy, the increased oxygen consumption, the aphromatic elevation caused by gravid uterus, decreases the total lung volume, edema of the respiratory tract uh, mucosa, so the pregnant women are most susceptible to infection by COVID-19 and more intolerant to hypoxia than the general population. However, initial data obtained in China have not consistently shown that the pregnant patients are at the higher risk of severe disease. This is reported by Lai et al. 2020. That river who reported that the frequency of intensive care unit admission or mechanical ventilation use was similar between 21 pregnant women and 19 aged matched non-pregnant control. So the result may be attributed that at least in part to the limitation of the small sample or sample size and the short shortage of follow-up terms. Subsequent data obtained from some hospitals in France and Belgium suggests that with COVID-19 has more severe side effects like hospitalization about 59% uh, versus 17.4% uh, in, uh, no, in normal uh, non-pregnant women and invasive infant in ventilation, ventilation was observed in 10% of the pregnant women than non-gravid women, which is 1.7% than the control. Similarly, in studies of 400,000 women in USA between the age of 15 and 44 years of age with symptomatic COVID-19 infection, pregnant individuals were more likely to experience uh, ICU admission and intubation and this. So, the endothelium in the placenta decidua of the pregnant lady and chronic villi, an altered state exhibiting thrombotic condition, infarction, and remodeling of the vascular wood during infection. This indicates fatal and maternal vascular malperfusion in some studies, which may be associated with affection of the fetus by oligohydromonas, fetal growth restriction, preterm birth, still birth, reported some in some studies compared with non-infected uh, pregnancies and the rates of cesarean section are higher in pregnancy with COVID-19 infection in China. About of nine, uh, <clears throat> 90% of pregnant women in China has done cesarean section. This may be due to that there is a concern about the health status of the pregnant women and also responsible this high rate of cesarean section 
And some studies highlighted that a very strong probability of vertical transmission of the infection from the pregnant woman to the fetus, her fetus. The literature up to date, their intrauterine infection with COVID-19 is highly speculative and the conclusion is still unclear. One study reported that among 200, uh, 212 samples, including 1553 swabs, throat swabs, 19 faces, 19 urine samples, and 19 gastric juice samples from 132 neonates, all those were negative for COVID-19 infection. However, there is increased and elevated immunoglobulin antibodies in the neonates after pairs were and identified and reported in the hospital of Wuhan, China, where the epidemic and pandemic of COVID-19 started. Now, what is the impact of messenger RNA vaccination on the human fertility? The current evidence of impact of the vaccination of messenger RNA on the human fertility is still very limited. We have two vaccines, Pfizer bio BioNTech vaccine and the messenger RNA 1237 Moderna vaccination has no influence on the sperm parameters, including the sperm concentration, sperm volume, sperm motilities, and total number of motile sperm. Similar effects and assessment of follicular steroidogenesis and oocyte quality did not show any measurable evidence when compared with unvaccinated women. Moreover, Orvito et al. 2022 reported that in, uter in vitro uter fertilization treatment parameters, such as the number of oocytes, and the mature cells, fertilization rate and ratio of top quality embryo bare fertilized cells did not significantly differ between pre and post vaccination by the vaccine. And these researchers have also found that COVID-19 infection could lead to significant low proportion of uh, the top quality embryo. And the overall primary finding in these studies indicates that the vaccination will not result in any measurable determinant effects on the female or male reproductive systems. Effects on the pregnant woman and the fetus. Most of the studies has found that the, the vaccination is very safe for pregnant women and does not affect the health status of the feet of the fetus. Some studies have reported some uh some uh, side effects of vaccination like uh, premature rupture of the membrane uh, about 0.8 percent versus 8.3 percent still pairs in few patient and few newborn 0.1 versus 1 percent preterm delivery in 7.3% compared with 21.4% when compared with infected with COVID-19 infection. 
No differences was found between the vaccinated and vaccina unvaccinated group in the newborn complication that like newborn respiratory complication. It was noticed that abnormal miscarriage about 4.1% in COVID-19 patient, and this may be partially attributed to higher probability of receiving special care and attention when they are diagnosed and infected by COVID-19 infection. Moreover, it must be noted that the risks of COVID-19 to the pregnant woman might be underestimated in the current studies for the following reason. First, the infection is mild or even asymptomatic, this in majority of cases included. And the second, more than 63% of patients included in the third month's thread trimester. Last three months of pregnancy, but is known that approximately 80% of pregnancy loses uh, occur within the first trimester of pregnancy. The effects and benefits of messenger RNA on pregnant vaccine are, are undisputed. After 14 days, the incidence of documented viral infection in the, in the vaccine after vaccination of the pregnant group began to decrease dramatically compared with unvaccinated pregnant control. So this means that the vaccination protected the pregnant woman from infection. Moreover, the maternal antibodies whether produced after infection or vaccination will protect the newborn against infection and further reduce the hesitation of pregnant women to be vaccinated. So we conclude from this, uh, from this lecture that COVID-19 may pose, pose a threat to, uh, to the reproductive system of both males and females. And the presence of COVID-19 infe infection of the virus in the vagina and the placenta under lies the impairment of female fertility. However, although the virus has been detected in the semen or testicular tissue, whether it can affect the reproductive system remains controversial because of extremely low positive detection rate and the probability of contamination from non-semen resources sources during the testing proce processes. Moreover, even the infection occurs, the virus cannot stand and exist for long periods of time and clears from the testicular tissue. That the various reproductive system, symptoms unprecedented, unprecedented issues exhibited by many patients may be attributed to other causes such as fever, hypothermia, hypoxia, and hyperthermia. It is worth meaning that given the association between low testosterone level concentration and high luteinizing hormone concentration, the disease severity and the mortality of men with COVID-19 so we need further research urgently to assess whether testosterone could be used for risk stratification and whether testosterone supplementation or even augmentation could improve the clinical outcome of the male patients infected with COVID-19. In addition, the pregnant women are had increased risk of COVID-19 infection compared with non-pregnant women of the, semen, of the similar age and adverse maternal and obstetric outcomes are more prone to occur among pregnant women with COVID-19 infection than non-gravid women. Fortunately, 
current evidence still support that low risk of maternal fetal transmission, but it is necessary remain to remain to systemically screen for any suspected infection in the new, during the pregnancy and provide a high quality rate. Thank you for your kind listening and uh, kind invitation for this uh, nice conference. Thank you, Dr. Ibrahim. Uh, there's a question here. Uh, should I read it? Or you can see it in uh, the chat box. Okay, I read it. Uh, do the vaccine affect the genetics much material of embryo causing genetic disorder in the child? No, 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 has no effect on the genetics and safe for uh, the fetus and safe for uh, the pregnant woman. And further studies is still needed to uh, ensure that there is no affection of the genetics for the fetus or genetic elements for the pregnant woman. But all data nowadays indicating the vaccine is safe, minor side effects are present, but if compared with a non-vaccinated pregnant woman, uh, is it is valuable for pregnant women to take vaccination uh, important for hair health and for uh, important of the baby. That is, I mentioned in my lecture that the antibodies are prone to the uh, fetus from vaccination so protect this him from acute respiratory distress syndrome. Okay, thank you, Dr. Brian. Thank you for your great presentation.